and we are live what's up everybody Jay from Leprechaun TV here and uh, today hang out with me and cook along while I do this little uh, appetizer that uh, my family's been doing for a long time now and uh, I'm gonna try to give you uh, specific measurements on on how I do the uh, sauce that you dip it in uh, before you uh, bake it fry it or air fryer in my case um but uh it's good good to be back live with you guys missed you it's been a busy summer with the food truck uh my apologies on uh not doing uh any hot seats throughout the summer but the last thing i wanted to do was book something with somebody and then have to go work and have to cancel or reschedule or whatever so i just decided not to do anything throughout the summer uh, I did upload little short videos and some concert videos and uh, if you just seen the latest video which was the uh, quarter pounder uh, foot long hot dog that thing was massive monster uh, delicious but uh, on this one uh, so th this recipe <clears throat> obviously has been Americanized. Uh, Ramaki, uh, the meaning of Ramaki is a cooked appetizer consisting of pieces of usually marinated chicken liver wrapped together with sliced water chestnuts and bacon slices. So we're going to uh, eliminate the chicken livers. Uh, a lot of people have done it with shrimp uh, in, in, in place of the uh, chicken livers. Uh, where we just eliminate it all together and we just use whole water chestnuts instead of the slices. Uh, it gives you more body, more depth, and more to chew on. Um, we got Wep in the house. What's up? Uh, we got Nicole working blue in the house. What's up? Uh, yes, I can. Barbecue. What's up, Simon? And... Um, uh, one one tip to doing this before you um, bake or air fry, uh, the way you get these things to stay together is with a toothpick. So first thing I do is I always soak mine in some water. That way they do not burn. Catch your oven on fire or your air fryer on fire. We'll grab some paper towels here. Now, usually you do this on a cookie sheet. My family does it on a cookie sheet in the oven. Um, and you set uh, the, the, the rack in there and uh, the, the cookie sheet catches all the bacon grease. Well, in this case, uh, I put tin foil down uh, on, the, on the bottom. There's a, a little pan that goes down there, but I, I always wrap it with uh, tin foil easy. So that'll be on the bottom. That'll catch all of my bacon grease. So I'll try to make this as easy and less messy as possible because uh, when you're cooking bacon, obviously, you're gonna get some bacon grease. Um, so let's get started. Uh, we got Captain in the house. What's up, Captain? Uh, Funky John, what's going on? Glizzy for the win, yes. So Monday he's going to make a post. And uh, once again, I will be on that list for another foot long. And there's another guy that said he could eat his in three minutes. So we're going to do a video, and we're going to make it a challenge. Uh for today's bacon, I'm using the Oscar Mayer Original Bacon, naturally hardwood smoked. Um, this was my looks. So, so when you when you pick out bacon, do you ever go onto the back side and look how it actually looks? Because they make this side look so pretty, but this side you see. So, what you do is uh, you cut this in half and. Uh, a half a slice of bacon will go around uh, a whole water chestnut. 
So let me get this package open. How's everybody doing on this fine Saturday? It's kind of gloomy here. It says 50 degrees out. It's pretty nice. It's not bad out there. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there um, hanging the Christmas lights and, and uh, decorations on their houses today. No rain. Uh, it rained all day yesterday. All right, I'm going to take a few pieces of this bacon and put it off to the side because we have some hot dogs to wrap, um, tater tots to wrap, and um, that's going to be our lunch. This is the, the Ramaki is just an uh, appetizer. I might need that other pack of bacon. I thought maybe one pack would do it. We'll see. All right, I'm going to say four slices. And then I'm going to take the remainder slices and I'm going to cut them in half. So here's what you got. So half a slice per... Uh, let's get one of these and one of my wire wire racks going. Uh, I love this air fryer. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've done a lot on this thing. We've had it for probably, how long, four years? Five, at least four or five years. All right, we're going to start with a water chestnut. We are going to take a slice of bacon. And we are going to wrap that thing all the way around. Take a toothpick. And there you have it. Bam. So you cook it like this first. You want, before you sauce it, you want to do it this way because you want that bacon to get nice and crispy. You don't uh, want to add no sauce uh, and have soggy bacon. That's a no-no. So, I don't know how many I could fit on a rack. Never calculated that up. But uh, 62 and gloomy. And, yeah, and that's in San Antonio. <clears throat> Which is not bad. When I come to Houston, I hopefully, uh, hopefully we have some decent weather. In years past, it's been four different things the past four years. So yeah, this is a this is the tedious part of it, which you know that's why you're here, hang out with me, and uh, get me through this. That's a little one. Look at that little guy. But we're gonna wrap them anyways, right? No discrimination. That's just more bacon ratio. Oh, scared me. Oh, man. Nigel, what is up? Man, I haven't seen you in forever. I've been asking about you. See if anybody's heard from you or anything. Man, it is so good to see you. Who else we got? Genie's Point. Hi. And Loader Man. Just doing some bacon wrapped water chestnuts, holes, no slices, just the whole thing. And then we'll air fry that. And then we'll sauce them and uh, eat them up. Just a chill. Saturday afternoon. Hanging out. She's going to watch her movies. I'm going to watch some sports. Unfortunately, my team didn't make it to play today, but hey, it is what it is, right? Uh, today, I am rooting for the Hawkeyes, Iowa Hawkeyes. All right. Boom. 
Glad you guys could come and hang out with me. Appreciate that. I'm sure a lot of people are Christmas shopping. I'm sure a lot of my barbecue guys are throwing something on the smoker right about now. West Coast, it's only uh, 9 a.m., so they're probably just getting through breakfast. Uh, Nigel, across the pond. Captain, across the pond, has already had breakfast and lunch. They're probably already making dinner plans. Hi. Yo! Um, there is a, I mean, Joey was talking about going back. I don't know when, I think 2024. Oh, um, that is not true. He's taken his son to Japan. I think Japan, Tokyo, maybe. Something like that? Yeah. You know how they always go on that, that trip? Well, you know, past two years was uh, U.S. Virgin Islands. So now uh, Jimmy is asked to go somewhere else. He's not a, you know, beach-loving kid. I mean, he you know, he likes it, but, you know, there's more of the world to see, I guess, for him. And I, and I think it might have something to do with school. He might be doing something in school. So there was one can, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 out of uh, one can. And I'm running out of bacon. Man, look at that big old one, boy. That's a big one. Um... Where is Booger <laughs> when you need her? I know, right? I'm working the air fryer. Um, Booger's around. She dropped a video the other day. Uh, I think it was a chicken wing video. She's been around. Uh, I think her and Tom have been dealing with an illness. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, I've seen a few posts a while back. But, yeah, she's still around. Uh, beard needs to trim lip. You're starting to look like a leprechaun. Who said that? <laughs> Nigel. I agree. <laughs> uh, lazy day for Wep. Yep. I had what they call haystack from Yoder's Kitchen down the way. Homemade biscuits, hash brown, scrambled eggs. Diced ham covered with sausage gravy and shredded cheese, an Amish favorite. Yeah, I know you ain't leaving that couch today, boy, after that breakfast. What's up, Buzz Barbecue? What's happening? We got some uh, bacon-wrapped water chestnuts, and we are almost full on this rack. Actually, I think I'm going to pop this one in. Uh, let's spread them out a little bit so they all get some action. Mm -mm. And there I'll show you guys what it looks like. There we go. So that's one rack. So we got uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 19 on, them, on there. So I'm going to put it probably middle-ish rack. And then I'm going to rock these at um, 400. 400 degrees. And we got 15 minutes. Boom. <clears throat> All right, next rack. We got Scotty. What's up, Scotty? 
Scooter 3G, what's up, bro? <clears throat> Canada in the house, too. I still have some left. Yeah, a lot of, and that 10 bucks for all that. Did you hear what I was, what I read out? 10 bucks for that. That's uh, Kyle in Amish town over in Illinois. Love pigs in a blanket. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to wrap some hot dogs and some uh, uh, tater tots also. So first I'm going to try to get through all this bacon here. What's that? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get these all wrapped up first and then I'll go into showing them the sauce, how I make it. And I'm going to do my best at uh, giving you guys exact measurements and then you can tweak it from there uh, how you like it. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to use these slices for Marky. There we go. All right. Continued process. Here, let me bring you in closer with the next one. <clears throat> These are some uh, big chestnuts in this one. So we have the chestnut. And then we take the bacon. And we just roll it right around that. Very simple. Boom, boom. And there it is. Damn, that's simple. Uh, Hun, can you come and grab that other bacon out of the fridge for me? Please and thank you. So we'll have two racks for this Romaki. Hit the light, see where you're at. Oh, my! Life. I love this thing. This thing is awesome. I'm sure there's bigger and better out there, but for me and us, it works fine. Thank you. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Bing bong, ming. It's all about the Ted. What's up? Hey, Ted's in here, huh? It's all about the rack. What's up, bro? How's the Thanksgiving, man? We need to hook up. We miss you. Yeah, we miss you, man. Hanging out. We, I mean, we don't have to do YouTube stuff. I mean, I just we go out to dinner. We go out for some drinks. Catch a comedy show. Shit, I'd come and watch you uh, throw some bags. Whatever it is, man. Uh, fixing to head to the liquor store. Um, I think we're good, right? I don't have to go to the store. All right, that's one pack of bacon down. Uh, my next pack of bacon is going to be the Sugardale Hickory Smoked. Boom. Simon says, hi. Did someone say bacon? Jimmy C., what's up? Sorry, cheese and blankets. I like them also. Che you know what? How about a bacon wrapped cheese curd? <whistles> Leps in a blanket. Yeah. 
here. Okay. Hmm. Surprised my cat isn't here in here bothering me. She loves bacon. So let's take some of these off for the hot dog. Two slices for you. You don't want bacon wrapped, right? No. All right. So she just wants an air fryer dog. So two slices for her. Uh, I need some bacon wrapped bacon. <laughs> bacon wrapped bacon, huh? <laughs> Sugar daddy. Got to prep for tomorrow. Dry here and on Sundays. Ah. Uh, Makes sense. Got to go on that liquor run. They got dry Sunday. Yeah, that's got to suck. Actually, you know what? A, a few places around here, um, for the longest time, remember, we were no uh, alcohol sales on Sundays either. Yeah, back, back, I mean, you're talking 20, 25 years ago, though. All right. Let's go with, let's go with this side. So I just cut it in half. So it's half a slice per water chestnut. Them ones are popping and sizzling over there doing great. We are six minutes in at 400 degrees. We got nine more minutes to go and uh, they're looking good. I set it on 15. Sometimes this thing will get them done quick. It depends on actually the size. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Ted says, doing good. Uh, Thanksgiving was good. Low key, definitely hit me up and uh, we'll hang out. Uh, Simon says, a lot of little towns in uh, Texas are dry. How about where where Jack Daniels is made, that's a dry county, period. Like, there's no alcohol, but you got a, one of the best distilleries there, right there in the middle. Funny. Uh, yo, buddy, you wrap thin bacon with thick bacon. Not, hey. Jimmy C might be onto something, huh? He said, take thin bacon or thick, take thin bacon, roll it up, and then you wrap it with thick bacon. Things that make you go, hmm, would that work? <laughs> There's always a test kitchen going on over here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> she calls them my stonerisms. <laughs> but uh, yeah, seven minutes. All right. And I'm still rapping, hon. Still rapping. Uh, well, I know that's the important part, but I got to do this. It's not like I did it before. And I could go right. It's definitely not going to be a short video. I apologize. We got Jorge in the house. Lynchburg, Tennessee. That's it. All right. We're six minutes. I'm almost done with this can. And then we'll get on to... Uh, getting these out, getting this other rack in, and uh, we'll move on to the sauce. Uh, sauce doesn't take much. Uh, a soft boil uh, till the sugars melt. Uncle Steve in the house. What's up, Uncle Steve? We are wrapping some water chestnuts. Water chestnut, half a slice of bacon, wrap it around. Boom, there you go. 
actually you could put rub on this you could rub it rub it first but these are these are going to be our traditional way um if i wasn't if i was making them for myself uh i would i would definitely put some uncle steve's on there uh, maybe some uh sweet dessert shake first and then, uh, and then I would uh, air fry it and then dip it. Dorito in the house, what is up? Uh, that chili, oh, that man. Uh, I'm going to get on a list for another one, man. Somebody uh, somebody said they, they could eat theirs in, in three minutes, which I ate mine in five. Um, so we're going to do a video on that and... Uh, you're gonna put, have to put that uh, money where his mouth is, because I tell you what, if I would have stuck, if I would have started it off with with actually trying to beat somebody, oh, I could ate it a lot faster. JV's hangout, what is up? Um, so we got some bacon wrapped uh, water chestnuts. We got a batch in the air fryer right now that are actually looking pretty good. Let me check on these things. Yeah, a little longer. We got four minutes left in that. So here, let me get rid of uh, some stuff here. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna uh, move into the sauce. Give me a drink of water. Ah, there we go. All right. So, I don't need no gloves for this one. So, we're going to go with a little pot. You see what I did there? All right. We're going to go. Uh, Ketchup first. You guys might want to write this down. We are going to go ketchup first. And we are going to... Usually I eyeball this. Um, that looks to be... I'm gonna have to go more on that. That's a cup right there. So we're gonna go probably a cup and a half, almost two. Yeah, we're gonna go a cup and a half. Let's see. Yep, cup and a half of ketchup. went over because you're not going to get all this out. All right. There's that. This way. All right. Next we are going to go with uh, some brown sugar. I'm using the light brown sugar and we are going to go we're gonna go big on this one uh, we're gonna go a half a cup yeah we're gonna go a half a cup Yeah, it's about right. About a half a cup. Yeah. So I've been eyeballing this recipe for a while now. And uh, looks like I'm spot on on this guessing game here for this recipe. Alex, what's going on? Sorry for the shaking, guys. Oh, I apologize. I didn't even notice that. 
my apologies. All right, we're going to add that. And put that right there. Uh, next, we're going to go honey. She said, what? <laughs> oh, there we are. That was 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And that's what it looks like. So we're going to let that go right there for a minute. I'm going to make me get right back to the sauce. Um, I'm going to go a quarter cup of honey. Oof. Oh, that's thick. Honey. Yes. That's a lot of honey. That's a lot of honey. 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 That's a lot of honey. Honey. <laughs> we had 17 million watching us, huh? Now we only got 13 million. All right, that's taking a while. Let me grab something here. Let's scoop this out. All right. And then there's that. All right, so we did a quarter cup of honey. We did a half cup of brown sugar. We did a quarter cup of honey. Honey. <laughs> uh, tablespoon. We're going to go teaspoon. Of what? We're going to uh, hoisin sauce. We're going to go uh, teaspoon of hoisin sauce. Ooh, that's thick. So if you don't know hoisin sauce, um, yeah, good stuff. Yep. There's that. Then we are going to go, ooh, that's fresh. We're going to use molasses, which this goes a long way, so you only want to use a little bit. So I am going to go with the, the smallest. I am going to do a quarter teaspoon. just to help thicken it up, make that sauce real, real tight and sticky. Uh, so it sticks to the bacon. And then I'm going with uh, Tabasco's brand of Sriracha, which, so you can't find the other one. So, so this is what I got. Uh, what are you making, my friend? It is a bacon-wrapped water chestnut hole. So here it is, raw. Here it is, cooked. And then I dip it in this sauce and I recook it. But uh, for right now, I'm doing this sriracha. So I'm gonna only go a quarter teaspoon of this also. Once again, that flavor goes a long way also. So if you're writing this down, we got cup and a half of ketchup, cup of brown sugar, quarter cup honey, uh,
what was it, a tablespoon of hoisin? Teaspoon of hoisin, quarter teaspoon of molasses, and sriracha. And there it is. Uh, let me get to mixing this up and see where we're at. Because now you have to put it on the stove so this brown sugar will melt. Just thicken everything right up. Oh, there, dang, man. Don't shake the table, hon. Sorry about that. My bad. Shaking them to death over here. Yes, this is this is our holiday appetizers, uh, especially around Christmas. Not not so much Thanksgiving. Um, but Christmas, yes, for sure. All right. Um, let me put down a paper towel. Let me, you know what? Let me get a paper plate instead. So here is the tray of cooked ones. So I'm going to put those down right here. I'm going to get this other tray going. And we're going to go 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Boom. Now let me get this sauce on both top. Get that going. Mm, catch up on some comments here. Let me get you guys pulled up on my phone. That looks delicious. I'll have to try it one day with you whenever that may be. Right? Hey, let's, hey, Alex, you ain't going to be able to try everything I make. I tell you that. <laughs> That's dirty. This is not. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, I forgot the most important. Oh, soy sauce. Cannot for, cannot forget your soy sauce. Um, I just use a packet of the takeout. Uh, I don't know how many teaspoons that it's going to be. Let me see if I can get you a measurement on that. Uh, this thing's probably going to be. It is one tablespoon. So a tablespoon of your favorite soy sauce. I enjoy that. Take out soy sauce because it has no MSG. Um, that's one reason why I like this one. Wow, almost forgot that, hon. Good thing I was cleaning up. <laughs> it was hiding. Uh, we would have we would have tasted it and we would have been like, something's off. <laughs> Make sure you keep stirring your uh, your sauce. You do not want it to burn. A gentle uh, simmer slash boil. You don't want to boil this like a hard rolling boil uh, that you would do for pasta. You don't want it that way. You want it uh, just barely bubbling. That way you know uh, your brown sugars most likely uh, melted. And um, Wepa, Nigel, man, it's great to see you, man. I'm glad you're hanging out today. That is so awesome. So awesome. Let me turn this down because it's starting to go quick here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see where I'm at. Let me give it a little taste test. 
Mm. Let me take it to Mrs. Lep, see what she approves. She said money, so I'm going with it. All right. Uh, I didn't taste no clumps of brown sugar, so it's most likely all dissolved in with that little. So, so there you go. That's how quick that sauce was. Now, because I did it so quick, the thing is, is I'm going to recook this. So I didn't want to overcook it. Rednecks, Ken Leprechaun TV, Leprechaun Productions Corporation, all rights reserved. My dude. Uh, let me see where I'm at here. Let me get in on this action over here. All right, so I think I need another plate. All right, yes. All right, so we're going to go like this. So this is how we do this. Get that out of the way. Turn this light on. We are at five minutes in. Looking great. Uh, might have to soak up some oil. No, nope, I'm doing good. We should be okay. All right, so there's my other rack. We'll put that on the paper plate, right? So then we go in here. We dip, shake off the excess. And boom, there you have it. And we'll uh, rebake these. Air fry. Boom, beautiful. Man, it's been so, so long since I've seen you, Nigel. How's everything going with you, man? Oh. Mm, there was somebody else I was talking about the other day that we haven't seen in a while. Man. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, oh, Mona. She uh, commented on an old video. Remember Mona, Nigel? I think you guys are from the same country, I believe. New Zealand? What's up, Johnny? Blackstoners in the house. What's up? Doing some uh, bacon-wrapped water chestnuts with the... Uh, it's my Asian flair of a sauce, barbecue sauce. Boom. So there's the, here it is before I dip it. And there it is after I dip it. Cholula, yeah, yeah, that would work in here. Some Cholula, uh, if you didn't want, if you didn't have sriracha. Irish Asian, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we on 
almost got this rack full. We got seven minutes left on that. We're doing good on the sauce. Alex, that stuff looks pretty damn tasty, my friend. And it is, Alex, man. Uh, let's just say I eat so many, I, I get a belly ache because I eat so many. Every time I make it for a party, I always leave, make a batch to keep at home and a batch to take with me. Man. Then I have to try this out. Yeah. Um, uh, the original recipe is made with chicken liver, uh, sliced water chestnut wrapped in bacon. I went with the whole chestnut and just the bacon. Eliminated the chicken liver. You could also uh, do this with uh, shrimp also. It'd be good with shrimp. What's up, miscellaneous? Cheers, bro. Uh, later, Alex. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate you. What temp on the air fryer? I am at 400 degrees. Uh, so if you would, you could bake it, you could put it in your oven, which you get a lot more done, a lot quicker. Um, using a cookie sheet, put you like a, a wire rack down in the, in the uh, cookie sheet and line them up, man. And uh, turns out amazing in the oven too at 400 degrees. And, and the thing is, is the uh, bacon grease gets caught. Five minutes. You could talk. You don't have to whisper. What's that? I can't hear you. you. Come in here. They can't see you. You could stand right next to me and they will not see you. She's over there whispering, I got an air fryer in my ear. <laughs> Something about wrapping it up. I don't know. No idea. She, she wants to watch her movie. Wrap it up. I'm getting the hey, production team over here. Is, wrap it up. Oh, you want the hot dogs wrapped up? Is that what you were talking about? We're going to do some uh, bacon wrapped hot dogs too. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah? Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. Bam. We're going to take a hot dog and wrap it. Oh. And you just spiral this thing all the way down. Pretty simple. Bam. All right, and we're going to put a toothpick on this end, and we're going to put a toothpick on that end, and bam, there you have it, a bacon wrapped hot dog, and we're going to put that on that rack that we just emptied, and we're going to do another one, and we're going to start it like this, and bam, we're just going to... Spiral, spiral, spiral. Let me see you spiral. And then we're going to put a toothpick on this end. And the toothpick on this end. And then we're going to air fry two non wrapped. So that's going to be lunch. And I have enough. Uh, bacon left over that I'm going to take some frozen tater tots and bacon wrap those too. Mm -hmm. How long do you cook dipped? Once they're dipped, I put it on for like five minutes just to caramelize all the sugars and stuff. Uh, any Blackstones in the house slip on TV? Yes, I have. It's, it's in the basement, but it usually sits right here where the air fryer is at. They do make an electric indoor um, 
17 inch and 22 inch uh blackstone which is like a non-stick top it's not a cast iron top um which it works let's just say that um is it non-stick no it gets beat up very quick too wrap the glizzy yeah oh yeah They already know you're here, you know? All right. Since I did that without any gloves, I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> well, if you're going to produce a show, get in here. <laughs> Trying to produce. Uh, we got uh, how many minutes left on this one? All right. So this is going to go in next. This is almost done. We got a minute left on this. All right. We're going to. This thing's going to be hot. Coming out. Sizzling in there. <clears throat> Ooh, that's hot. Some drip on me. Mm. All right. Mmm, that was hot. That was hot. All right, I'm gonna throw these hot dogs in real quick. We might be able to. You might be able to uh, get both of them in here. Yep. I think we should be all right. Let me separate these. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the first batch of dipped going in. Yep, they fit. Bam, there we go. All right, we're going to uh, redo this. And we're going to go five minutes at 400 degrees again. Turn the light on. Boom, there we go. All right. On to this next batch that's hot. They need to make a different top for the electric version. Right. I, I didn't care for it, man. Um, do I use it? Yes. Um, was I impressed? Not at all. Which another uh, couple companies came out with the non-stick uh, non top also for their outdoor grills. And I'm sure theirs is the same. Uh, actually, I've seen... My buddies, the Wall Twins, use it, and I don't think they liked it. You'd have to ask them their personal opinion. But they're probably not going to tell you because they are a brand ambassador for Pit Boss. So um, I'm sure they're uh, biased on that one. But, hey, never know. So we're going to dip the, the remainder of these, and we're going to put them back on this rack here. And uh, so we'll have another batch of these and the bacon wrapped tater tots, which I'm not going to bore you with. Right. See, cat smelled it. I smell bacon. You smell the bacon? Mm hmm. You smell the bacon? Smells of bacon. You say hi to the people. Say hi. Say I love you. Say I love you. Mmm. I could eat one right now. Actually, you could eat it right 
you don't have to throw it back in there. You would actually eat it just like this. The, the sauce is done. Um, I just like to caramelize it a little more, make it tacky so it sticks, and uh, just makes it better, the ooey gooey. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, appreciate everybody coming and hanging out. Uh, we are almost done. We got another couple minutes left. Once these hit five minutes, I'll pull them out and we'll give it a, a test. Taste, taste, test, taste, test. Yes. And I have to see if my producer approves. If not, I have to throw them back in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know my cat wants some bacon, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's clawing. <laughs> Here. Cat is a carnivore. Carnivore. Huh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A couple more minutes. They look like they're drying up. You'll know, uh, what, you know what I mean, that they're tacky when they when the sheen goes away. It's a it's a different sheen. It's not a wet sheen. It's a it's a sticky icky and gooey gooey. Browning the sauce is the best part. Yes, yeah, for sure. Caramelizes all the sugars and everything that I just used. You want another piece? <laughs> I'll give this one to Mrs. Left. There's no bacon. Should you hear me? Last one. Put it back on to the rack. And then we'll check the other ones and see where we're at. How many did I get out of this one? Oh, 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 oh. I got 21 out of that batch. So we are five minutes in. Oh, 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 oh. Wait till you see these guys. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right. Let's get this other batch in keep this process rolling all right damn oh these suckers are gonna be hot 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 right now I'm burning my cutting board mm, got it all messed oh well oh well have to wash it there it is all right here's what you guys came for mm, nice and sticky uh -uh. 
That's hot. Let me cut it in half. Ooh, wee. That would have burned my face off. Oh, 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 oh. They're piping hot. Mm hmm. Ooh, let's give it a try. Not that hot. Good Lord. It was the water chestnut more than the bacon. Oh, there's a mess. Mine fell apart. Mm. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Mm. You got to give this recipe a try. Go back, rewatch, write down the recipe of this wonderful concoction. Wrap you some bacon around it. Comes out looking like this. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, I want to thank everybody for coming and hanging out. As always, love you. See you on the next round. Yes. Happy holidays. I'll, I'll see you before Christmas and New Year's. Uh, Wepa. Love you. TDO.